Hey guys, hope you're all good today. Previously we've seen how to create mappings where we load data from one source to another target. But today we'll be looking at the topic for multiple targets and target load plans. Informatica can be used to load multiple targets from a single source. The source can be a relational database or a flat file or any other type and it can be used to load data into multiple heterogeneous targets at the same time. The example that we'll be taking a look at involves loading data from a relational table to another relational table as well as a flat file. So let's move over to the example now. Open the Power Center Designer. Okay, let's connect to the repository using the username administrator and the password as Oracle. Yeah, open the trainings folder. Let's create a new mapping now. Mapping create. Let's name it as M underscore departments underscore FF underscore table as we're loading it into a flat file as well as a table. Click OK. Yeah. So we need to load data into OK. We need to have the departments table as a source and as a target flat file as well. So let's create the target fa flat file first. Over here, create new text document. Let's name it as department underscore target. Okay, let's open this. And let's have a look at the uh, definition of the table and copy the column names from there into our flat file. So let's connect to the database using the test1 connection that we created. Yeah, let's use the HR username and password. Click OK. Expand the HR database. Expand the tables. Yeah, here we have the departments table. So let's open it for generate SQL for the create statement. And let's copy all the five columns from here. Four columns, sorry. Okay, into this file. Let's remove the extra things. Sorry, ID. Remove this. Okay. Look at this. Remove this. Okay. Let's copy and paste all of this into the next line as well. You will see the significance of doing this. Save this file and go to the designer. In the sources, let's import the source from the database first and Connect it using the HR username and password. Click connect. Okay, expand the HR database, <coughs> expand the tables, and we need the departments table, so click OK on that. Okay, now we need to import the flat file, so import from file. On the desktop, select all files. The source file, uh, departments, yeah, department target, click OK. And it is delimited, so select the import field from the first line. And, oh, I'm sorry, this is supposed to be the target, not the source. We have to do this in the target designer. I'm really sorry for misguiding you. So let's go to the targets now. We need and uh, to the target designer. Now let's import first the target table from the database using the username target and password target as well <clears throat> okay yeah 
Let's expand the targets database, the tables, select the departments from here, click OK. And here we have it. Now the target file file. So import from file, select all file types, sorry, all files. And now the department target, click OK. Delimited is fine, import field field names and click next other as okay yeah and here we have the comma uh, the bar i'm sorry no quotes and click next and now let's change the length of these fields department id is 30 is fine let's change department name to uh, let's say 25 yeah and manager id seems fine location id seems fine as well so yeah this would be it click finish and here we have it bottom part well now let's go to the mapping designer we've created the mapping already so which is department ff table so let's drag and drop the source and the targets over here firstly the source table which is departments now let's drag the targets from here in the departments table as well as the department target flat file okay now right click anywhere on the workspace and we'll use the auto link functionality where we use auto link first let's connect it to the department's target so click apply now okay three of them have been connected we we'll connect the fourth one ourselves the manager id okay first we do this apply now to the other table and you can see that all the four have been connected so click ok and drag and drop this third one over here okay now we have all the connections made so let's auto arrange them and yeah so now the data will be transferred from the table to the tab another table and a flat file. So save your work and let's move over. It's valid. So let's move over to the session and workflows now. Okay, open the workflow manager. You're already in the working folder that we were already in. So let's click on workflows, create a new one and name it as WF underscore department underscore ff underscore table okay let's create a session now click on the sessions tab drop it over here and select the mapping department ff table let's set the few properties rename it remove the m and underscore for naming conventions okay fail parent if task fails let's go to properties tab <clears throat> here scroll down okay select the right backward compatibility session log files and config objects scroll down save the session logs for five runs set this to five and stop on errors set the, it as one okay let's go to the mapping over here set this is hr the connection so this is fine as it is coming from the hr database scroll down we do not need to set any other uh, properties let's go to target table set this relational uh, connection as target select this as let it be bulk yeah scroll down truncate target table we do not need to set any other options over here so let's go to the target flat file this is a file like writer so that's fine uh, now we need to uh, give the file targets directory which is the de uh, desktop so copy the desktop address from here and copy it over sorry okay yeah i'll put file directory copy it over here and uh, let's name it as department target dot txt okay no other options to be set over here okay so yeah apply okay link the start of the workflow and the session now save your work arrange it horizontally save all the work 
and let's run it now. Start the workflow. Okay, the session is running. Double click on it. Sorry, double click on the session so that you can see what's happening. Okay, so 27 records have been read from the source and 27 have been applied to the target table as well as the target flat file. So let's verify this and let's go to the database table and see what we have there. Okay, let's connect another session for this, another instance of the SQL Assistant and connect to it using the target's credentials. Okay, test one. <clears throat> yeah, username target and the password is target as well. Okay, select steric from departments and let's execute this. And yes, we have you should we should have 27 rows over here. And yeah, now let's go to the department target table, target file, and you can see that we have 10, 27 records out over here as well. So now we have seen how to transfer data from one source to multiple so targets, to multiple different targets, heterogeneous targets. So in the coming lectures, we'll be looking at more things that we can do with Informatica. Till then, stay with us and thank you so much. Bye-bye.